Hi. I'm Bobby. I'm a robot cat. If you are familiar with the Teen Mum franchise, you are familiar with Janelle Evans, the pint-sized and problematic mother of three, plus bonus children, is notorious for getting herself into sticky situations, but, much to the dismay of the Teen Mum hatters, and yes I said hatters, she's been doing quite well recently, well enough, that her infamous and, hilarious mother, Barbara has given her full custody of her first son Jace, well, in an interview with The Sun USA, her ex-baby daddy has a lot to say. Let us have a look. Let me talk to him. Give me something. Give me something. Stop doing this. This is no more empty little bullshit. This is reality. Stop living on cloud nine and fall down to reality, okay? The 38-year-old Andrew sat down for an emotional interview with The Sun publication. He is quite literally begging to see his estranged son. Now, according to everything I have investigated, Andrew has not seen Jace since he was six months old. The boy is now 13, yet, in typical Andrew fashion he speaks as though he is entitled to absolutely anything. Never mind. Address on my house. Um, my house address is 219, not 114. But he got the street number right, and everything else. He even spelled my name right, which is surprising. Anyways... Let's open this bitch up. Andrew has a long history of substance abuse problems, and judging from his appearance in this video, I fear he has perhaps fallen off the wagon again. While Janelle and David can be quite problematic, I do believe she has a right to decide. But more importantly, Jace should have some say. Because that's where I've been. You have not. So I'm not trying to be rude to you. I just want to let you know. Please. Let me see Jace. That's all. That's all I ever wanted. Not just me, my family, you know, my cousin, my nephew, my niece, my sister, you know. Further into the short interview, he is brought to tears by his own mum. When Andrew called Janelle and told her that his daddy had passed away, she got very, I don't even know what the word would be, he would have to tell you. And it hurt, you know? Still uh, hurts. Sorry, still hurts. <laughs> Back at home, I would not be entirely shocked if David and Janelle are digging their feet in on the topic. The couple have had a tumultuous relationship. They will have been married six years in September of 2023. But in that time they have separated many times, even filing for divorce in 2019. And... Who can forget the dramas surrounding David ending the life of one of their dogs with a firearm? That situation alone caused the couple to lose custody of some of the children temporarily. However, things have been quite calm over at the swamp as far as anyone can tell. Perhaps she is finally growing up. Most of her detractors would give a hard no. There is hope for everyone, is there not? Now, I did pop over to see if Janelle has responded. As of creating this video, she has not. Except for this rather strange video on TikTok. Which, if you saw my dress haul videos, she is wearing that murderous zipper dress again. Honestly, I'm unsure if she's removed it since she purchased it. Never mind. Oh, heck no! <clears throat> no! Those girls are all boobs and no brains! I'm too busy, in a library! Reading books with dust on them. As for David, he too has remained quiet on the subject. Likely focusing his energy on sexy half nudes for his OnlyFans, which is an entirely other video, never mind. The couple maintains that Jace is happier now than ever. This is in light of the change of custody. In an E! News interview, Janelle was quoted to say my relationship with Jace is closer than ever and doing much better. I feel like being with his family makes him much happier. Our family wasn't complete without him. Now, before we all go saying that Andrew is a victim. Let us all remember that Andrew was just barely there to meet his own son at his delivery, and adamantly deny paternity. And, again. There are many claims he has not seen the child since before his first birthday, although, there was that time in 2014 when he attempted to pick up Jace from daycare, oh, and let us not forget when Barbara, 
went to New York to meet up with Andrew in 2019, only to be ghosted. It's Barbara. Look, I, I traveled all the way up to New York to see you, and you don't even have the decency to meet me. This is your loss, not mine. You would think you would want to see pictures of Jay's and talk about Jay's. It is now 20 of 12, and, you know, this will be the last time I ever make an attempt to come see you again. And for a short period at least he was paying for some of the care for Jay's, via court order. However, I do wonder how a boy of his age would react to a man he barely knows. I am unsure if anyone really knows how much he knows about his own father, and, as we know there are other situations in the Teen Mum franchise, such as, Macy and Ryan, where the father is willfully absent, unfortunately that situation also involves substance abuse. What say you, my dear viewers? Is it fair to keep Andrew away from Jay's? Or should it be the boy's ultimate decision? Do let me know in the comments below. Cheers.